We're gonna have to go over there and check that out. Yeah, not really looking for the balloons right now. Okay, yeah, so we do go this way. But I wonder what would happen if we were to go that way. What would happen? I don't even know how to get up there. Oh, well. Like I said, I'm not going to be looking for the balloons. Bubbles! My bubbles! Oh, here we go. Another part of the story. So you go up to it, and I'm pretty sure... Oh. He was young, arrogant, and amazing talent. He was convinced no color existed that was good enough for his garden, so he left it white. While he pondered how to create some new colors, his kingdom began attracting settlers, and soon he found himself with bigger problems. Okay, so yeah, since I already beat this game, uh, these are already going to be here. But usually you'd only see this golden tea right here. And then you just spray it like that, and then all of this would appear, and then the lady would read the story to you. Alright, here we go. Oh, what the hell? Oh, there's a swan, by the way. Dink! <laughs> the watchtower. Did I already say the music in this game is very pretty? Alright, so we got a good feeling of what this place has to offer us. If you're on the high place, just spray down. During this part of the game, like I said, this part of the game does not last long whatsoever. The part where you have to do this. Oh, uh, where are the jars? Pretty sure there's like a hole right here or something. Yeah, here we go. Knock him down. And then you jump down. It, that's kind of like a portal thing. Portal 2. All right, now shadows are introduced. So you can see by this. You'll see when the lady tells you the next story. The king's new subjects were tired of white. They were tired of tripping, of banging their shins, of misplacing their homes. So they started painting everything, ruining the king's spotless design. In response, the king outlawed all non-magical brushes and pledged to spend the next month painting shadows for his kingdom. Okay, so yeah, now he has shadows involved. And they're not from the sun, he actually painted them on there. Nope, 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 I'm never getting in the water with that thing in there. Ricochet. All right, and now you don't have to use the black paint anymore. I think fish is still come if you do this. All right, whatever. You'll figure out what that big, mean, scary looking thing is afterwards, later in the story. And why it's here. Oh, this part's really trippy. This is the screenshot that I put on uh, Instagram. By the way, go follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Uh, at the Video Gamester or just Video Gamester for Twitter. Where's the door? Oh, yeah, the stairs right here. I just beat this game like literally two days ago. Alright, so this is cool. This is the king's thing. Kind of weird thing I thought right here. There's also, if I remember correctly, a balloon up here. So you just go up here. And there's literally a very tiny balloon, like right here. Uh, so yeah, that's cool. I remember where some of the balloons are. Like, I'll point them out if I remember, but I'm not going to take my waste of time to go look for all of them. Okay, and here we go. 
the labyrinth. So, uh, yeah, this is the screenshot I post on Instagram and Twitter. Like, guess what? Oh, there's this one. If you notice, its neck is not finished, and that's why it's called the unfinished swan. You can just jump right down here. There's no fall damage. So, yeah, you, you think to yourself, like, Wow, I'm gonna have to go through all of this? Well, no, not really. You'll see. Just go right down through here. And then you... I think I went this way. I don't remember. Or I might have gone this way. I think you have to go right through there. Oh, here we go. Alright, let's listen to this. The labyrinth is designed to be beautiful. And it was. It was not designed to be practical. And it wasn't. Whole families got lost for weeks at a time. Mail took months to arrive. And many worried a labyrinth of this size was bound to attract dragons. Eventually, the complaints grew so loud, even the king couldn't ignore them. Okay. So then you go right up here. And you go right around here. I'm pretty sure you go through these doors right over here. Yeah, this is what I did last time. Also, if you're looking to get through th places faster, just walk forward, straight forward. Because if you walk straight forward, it's not as like slow as walking sideways. All right, and then you just go right through here, and bada boom, you're at the top. <gasps> How did that happen? It's so weird because you literally go right down here, and you are not even close to the king's palace or whatever. Like, yeah, you see it all the way over there. Yeah, this is what tripped me out. I'm like, wait a minute. What the hell is going on here? <clears throat> but yeah, you literally just walk right through those doors and you're all the way up here. And then this is... I stood like right over there or something. So let's listen to this. The king was so frustrated with the messy, demanding people of his kingdom that he decided to start over. One morning he painted a boat and set off to find the perfect spot. He told himself he'd come back someday to finish what he had started, but of course, he never did. So yeah, I literally stood right here, I like took my phone out, I'm like, alright, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, all of this. Just cuz. There's the thing. Alright, and then look right through here. And... First time I look at it, the first time I looked at this, I'm like, okay, well, that's pretty useless. And the second time I looked at it just now, I still think the same thing. All right, so this is, this this part is done. How many minutes have I been recording? Just 19? This took me like 30 minutes the first time, so maybe I can get this game done today. Yeah, this do fail into the water. Yep, sharks. I got a GTFO of the water. Alright, so yeah, that's done. Alright, empty, empty city. And this part is the thing that takes the longest, but it's definitely not the coolest. I think the coolest is the first. This part is the... The, everything about this game is cool, okay? But the first part is pretty cool. This part is still pretty, but okay. And then the last part, it's dark, but there's a really, really cool part there. Having celebrated in his usual way, he was now sleeping it off and quite unable to hear Monroe yelling. While he was looking for a way to wake the giant, Monroe noticed something even better. A floating ship. 